Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Tuesday, 7-10, July 10th. This is for all signs. Many people are thinking, can this be saved? Can this be saved? Can, can we save this? Will this work out? I mean, that seems to be the theme. That's what's been on my mind all morning for you all. Can this be saved? And this has nothing to do with me. Okay, it has nothing to do with me. Um, I am single, and my relationship cannot be saved. My past relationship cannot be saved. So this really has nothing to do with me. Somebody is asking this question, and that's what I keep hearing. Can this be saved? Can this be saved? So we're going to attempt to answer your question. have to tell you <laughs> it doesn't look good somebody is in a toxic situation that is going to break down it is going to break down I mean the tower is a massive breakdown because things are out of whack they're disorganized somebody isn't telling the truth there could be a third-party situation somebody needs to apologize Somebody's not apologizing. Somebody's not communicating. Teamwork is needed. For this to work out, somebody has to put in more effort. Somebody has hidden agendas. Somebody has lost their way. And it feels as though the universe is going to step in to force a change. Ego is a big part of this situation. This is an ego card. This is an ego card. Somebody's ego is getting in the way of happiness, of a reconciliation. Somebody's not communicating. They're not taking action. Somebody needs to act with integrity and perhaps offer an apology. This is the apology. It's time to do the right thing and to bring balance back to your life. Things are completely chaotic in a relationship. There could be somebody could be trying to escape reality with addictions, uh, obsessions. There um, is some manipulation going on here and the universe sees it. The universe also sees that somebody is refusing to communicate, refusing. Somebody is refusing to accept the truth that teamwork is needed. We need to work together. We may need to make some compromises here. Somebody is refusing to compromise. They're holding, holding it back, holding, holding their true feelings back out of ego. So I feel, and there could also be a third party situation here for some of you that are watching this and somebody is in denial. So I feel as though with this two of pentacles reversed that somebody um, is really overwhelmed with, with everything that is going on right now and they're go trying to be flexible but but perhaps the the string has been or the the line has been is too thin this 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 period of being flexible is is about to break it's about to break um 
it appears that there's no new beginning here because somebody is in a toxic situation in which they refuse to compromise. The other person refuses to compromise. Um, yeah, somebody is keeping secrets for sure. There's secrets here, keeping to themselves about how they truly fear, feel. being dishonest. Perhaps somebody is in a relationship right now when they really don't want to be in it. That's what it looks like to me. They may be staying only for materialistic reasons. So will this work out for, 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 for many of you that are watching this? Not everybody. There, you, somebody is involved in a toxic situation that is going to come crashing down. It's going to come out. It is going to, to fall apart. So I feel as though, you know, somebody doesn't feel appreciated. And now it's time for somebody to accept the truth in which they have not been accepting the truth. Ego is a huge factor here, big time, and that's false. Ego, feeding your ego is false, okay? These are both false, okay? This is a false foundation. Ego is appeasing to society, okay? Superficial. It's not long-term. It doesn't bring you happiness. Really, it doesn't. So, let's see. There, there's definitely some lies, some manipulation, perhaps some cheating going on. Somebody is doing something and thinking they're getting away with it. So can this we work, work out? For those of you that have that question, can this work out? The answer is no, it's not stable, it's not secure. There's no more faith in it. This could be a divorce, this could be a split. There's no more stability. I feel for some of you, there's a third party situation where somebody has involved another person and kept it a secret. Also, somebody has been ignoring their intuition, their inner guide. We have the high priestess and the high in the hierophant both reversed. These are highly intuitive cards. This is are you listening? Have you been listening? Somebody has not been listening. They've been staying in a situation for for materialistic codependent reasons. And that's the only reason. All the while wearing a mask. I mean, the Seven of Swords often has a person with a mask on. Somebody has been in complete denial of the truth, thinking that they can have their cake and eat it too. When it's time to move on, it's time to get in the driver's seat, put yourself behind the wheel, put the pedal to the metal, and hit the road jack. Because this is this is a false foundation. It's not stable. It's not secure. It's toxic. And you're deceiving yourself by not doing the right thing. By just not communicating about it. Because your ego is going to get hurt to communicate your truth. This was false wish fulfillment. Dealing with a situation in which there's no communication causes chaos, disorder, 
disorganization, resentment, and hurt. Somebody is refusing to communicate. Could be both. Loss of self along the way. Stubborn, hot-headed. It feels as though somebody has been holding on to something. That's a lie. It's a lie. So can this work out for somebody? No, it cannot work out. There's no reconciliation here because we have the tower. The tower is a breakdown that needs to happen to clear things out, to clear things out of the way so that a new beginning can come in. Because somebody is dealing with a, a situation that is dishonest. It's not meant to be. There's no commitment there. So I feel as though there's an opportunity for someone to... Well, there's not, it's not an opportunity. There's, there's a faded event, okay? The tower is a faded event. And this makes ex a complete sense with this um, eclipse that's coming up. This eclipse is coming in to clear out the chaos, the disorganization, the false foundations, the toxic toxicity that's in your life to bring you wish fulfillment. After things have been stalled for so long, you've been cheated. Whether it's cheated from a person or cheated in life or cheated in the relationship or cheated of love. The tower is coming in to broaden your horizons and bring you a new opportunity. But it might hurt. But we all deserve to be appreciated. Somebody has been not been following their inner guide, their intuition in the in, in the universe, which is a, the tower is a universe card, sees that. Lying to themselves. Truthfully, I mean honestly, somebody has been somebody has been lying to themselves. Staying in a situation that is toxic purely out of ego. It's over. It's done. This needs to be cleared out so that you can begin again. So be prepared for a clearing out that may hurt. If you are in a, a relationship that is no longer authentic, it's no longer true, it's no longer fulfilling, there's no appreciation, and your inner guide has been telling you it's over and you haven't been listening, there's going to be a faded event that is going to wake you up. I think we'll go with one of these this time. This faded event is going to is going to push somebody push it's going to it's going to make you move it's going to move you forward it's going to make you do the right thing this faded event you can't escape it any longer somebody's been escaping with that devil card in any way i've going i've been escaping the reality but now the tower is coming the event is coming to move you forward with this Cancer Eclipse Full Moon. It may seem a little chaotic. You may, you know, things may get a little haywire. But it's going to be a blessing in disguise in the end. This one came flying, so we're going to... Heaven sent. Woo! It flew out at me. 
33. Your prayers have been heard. This is the answer to your prayers. Seriously. Heaven sent. Growth. Change. Mind, body, and spirit union where everything comes together. This allows you to remove all that no longer serves you and start the healing process. Just as we receive gifts in the physical world through the thoughtfulness of others to acknowledge how much we mean to them, so too we receive gifts on other levels, including the spiritual level. I just told you your prayers have been heard. A spiritual gift is something that happens through grace. We can ask for help and it may be given in response to the request. All requests for help are answered. A spiritual gift can also be given without us asking for anything at all, at least not consciously. Something, sometimes, it is our hearts that cry out for help. While we are busy getting on with our to-do list, we don't often stop to think about what our hearts might need. If we do, and an immediate solution is not obvious, we just get on with either life, with life, either letting the issue be or taking the more painful option of dwelling on it without seeing how it might be resolved. However, there is a loving benevolence in life that knows exactly what we need and how it can best come to us even when we are not quite so clear. This force actively seeks to assist us in walking our life path. That loving sweetness is being offered to you now, or soon will be, in the form of a spiritual gift, which is this event. Your spiritual gift may be symbolic. It may be something that seems ordinary but holds a lot of meaning to you. It may be an object that catches your eye and mesmerizing you, mesmerizes you. You might think you are appreciating how lovely it looks, but it is the underlying energy that captures you. Sometimes in the appearance, color, or shape speaks to you, and it is perhaps answering an unspoken prayer. It is not the object that is the gift. That is just the wrapping. The actual gift is subtle, 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 yet effective um, empowerment. It is like a spiritual booster shot that helps you move forward in life with additional zing, extra strength, and great peace. You will be empowered to accomplish tasks that you may have nearly but not quite been able to manage on your own through the bestowal of a spiritual gift. The spiritual gift may or may not be recognizable to you. It may be very obvious, an offer, a windfall, a trip, a friendship, a new lover, or a remarkable healing in a current relationship. It may, it might be far more subtle, subtle subtile, and even more powerful, such as a jolt of energy that allows you to perceive things differently all of a sudden and perhaps solve a problem that's been plaguing you. This oracle also brings you a message. Let yourself be helped. Assistance is coming your way, so act on it and say yes. This oracle also comes with a message that you are to trust in the things that you feel and say which makes sense. Somebody hasn't been trusting. Trying to hang on to something that isn't going to work out. <sighs> Don't block yourself. Let life happen through you. Only benefit can come from this. healing process say through unconditional love I now accept the spiritual gifts that are bestowed upon me with complete trust and gratitude so be it whenever you draw the oracle of heaven sent in addition to another card the universe really wants your attention it is saying look love is speaking love is speaking directly to you here so pay attention. 
Really feel the truth of what is being said and trust that you are being helped. Something really wants your attention. It's clear. You can't ignore it forever in the universe. The tower is going to make you face it. Be prepared to face the truth and deal with it. So if you, if some of you, I see a divorce, I see a split, I see possible legal issues that you can't ignore. Something is over, it's done. Okay? So I don't know who this is for, it will not resonate with everybody. Somebody is going to continue to stay in denial, but... The tower is here for a reason. You're not exempt. Talk to you later.